The KZ-1000 original one. You don't see that every day. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of CPU Speed Motorcycles. As I get hung up here in traffic, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about something that affects all of us as motorcycle riders, and that's wind noise in your helmet and ear protection. I'm just going to start off by saying don't make any kind of excuses or exceptions, just get in the habit of always wearing earplugs when you ride your motorcycle. I speak from experience. Uh, of course, I've been in situations when I was younger that things were a lot louder, especially on a track. But I have tendonitis now, and it sucks. It's a ring in your ears that never goes away, and there's no cure for it. So, there's just no peace, unless I'm listening to music. And meditation? Well, that's right out of the window forget about meditation or any kind of mindfulness or any of that crap because my ears are constantly ringing so one of the things that we can do to curb or lessen the wind noise when riding a motorcycle well first of all is obviously riding a bike with a decent windscreen if you get a windscreen you can actually get the air flowing up over your head but that doesn't work for sport bikes um, unless you're in tuck, in a full tuck all the time. It doesn't work for standard or naked bikes, obviously. So you're going to get a lot of wind noise. Um, the other thing to think about is the way that your helmet is designed. What is your helmet designed for? Is it a, a designed for sport box bikes and being in a tuck position? Or is it designed for being sitting upright? And you know, what that means is that bikes... Uh, Helmets that are meant to be in a tuck position are going to have a lot more room here in the neck for you to move around and and get into a tuck position. Whereas a standard helmet with that has it's going to have a lot more uh, built into the neck area. And then also the neck roll is another thing to consider, and that being a little bit more tight and more fuller. So let's. Now I'm wearing a Showy RF 1200, which is really not the best for sitting upright, and that is causing a lot of wind noise. It's not the best of helmets to be wearing in this kind of situation. What is this guy doing? Yeah, let's kick up a lot of dust here while we make our left turn. What a f douche. Yeah, California. California. So. Typical. Anyway, I'm not I'm not a fan of those guys. But uh, the other thing that you can do, and the last thing, and the reason why I'm talking about it now, is earplugs. Always wear earplugs. And there's three types of earplugs. There's the foam ones that you can buy out of the CVS. Then there's a little kind of upgraded foam ones that are a little bit more denser. They're kind of teardrop shape, and I'm wearing those now. And they're actually, I can tell the difference between just the regular foam ones. And then there are ones that are sculpted to your ear that are a rubber um, material. And um, what I'm showing you right now is the No Noise Motorsport Earplug. And then a step up from that, which I don't have an example of, is you can actually get earplugs that are conformed and custom fit to your ear. And, uh, and those usually come with a little uh, drawstring so you can put it around your neck so you don't lose them. And a lot of road racers will be sporting those. Um, and there really is no benefit in not wearing earplugs. Um, and when you think about it, it's kind of stupid. Kind of a stupid thing not to wear them. I mean, you buy this big helmet, you know, and it's like, I'm going to protect my mouth, I'm going to protect my nose, I'm going to protect my eyes, but you know what? I'm pissed off at my ears, so they can go straight to hell. No, no, no. You want to protect your ears as well. 
So on the right back, I'm going to use the no noise earplugs and see what those give me. But those are my tips for curbing wind noise. And, uh, and why am I bringing all this up? Well, my last video was about touring on the MT-10 and I came away from that going, yeah, the biggest problem with touring on this bike was the wind noise. A little mischief there. I'm looking at trucks when I should be concentrating on what I'm doing. Big guy on the little bike. But, but yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. As far as wind noise. So I think I've covered everything. Windshield correct helmet and earplugs where is this person going what is this person doing where are you going what are you doing try a turn signal maybe oh okay she's speedy she gets a pass for all that ooh it's in mama low Oh man, that's an old lowrider frame, an Ar low rider frame, Arlen Ness lowrider frame from the late 70s. You know, you don't see that every day. Well guys, thanks for watching, and as always, ride safe.